So we have, alhamdulillah, uh, we praise and thank Allah that we have a community center, a masjid that is open to Muslim regardless of whether they're Sunni, whether they're Shi'i, so that they're able to come and to worship and to learn and partake and be a part of the greater body of what we are, despite whatever there may be of differences. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Are there European Americans who decide to be Muslims here? We actually have quite a large percentage of reverts or converts. Um, Caucasian, African American, um, Hispanic or Latino. So there's, uh, if, I would be, if I were to try to count them all, I would say that there's perhaps maybe 100 converts altogether. So it's a, it's a very large size, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Yes? If one decides that you uh, are, are interested in converting, what is that process like in order to become a Muslim? The steps to become a Muslim are simple. It's for a person to believe and then to declare what they have of belief that there is no God except, except for the one God and that Muhammad is his messenger. Not his only messenger, but the last messenger. Um, we're told that there were over 100,000 prophets that God Almighty selected. So to say that, with belief qualifies a person to be a Muslim. After that, it's just about continuously learning and looking to put into practice uh, what a person learns. Yeah, you're welcome. Any other questions? I know you guys may be tired, right? Mm -hmm. What time did you start your trip today? Six. Seven. 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 Wow. Seven <laughs> These guys are tough, that's good. Did you just have lunch at least? Yes. Alhamdulillah. One of the things that I want to stress is this too. When we look at the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we find that the example that he taught is one of showing how humanity, with regards to all that there may be of superficial differences, how we are still able, it should be able to. Nothing prevents us except the decision that we are empowered with. Nothing prevents us from being able to come together, to work together, to live together, to have respect for one another, except the decision to choose not to. Now when we look at the superficial things that exist between us, there's plenty of reasons why we can decide not to want to like each other and to be good to each other and so on and so forth. But those are simple little things that in reality, um, they don't add any, any worth or quality to life. It's the opposite that if we were to recognize this diversity that exists, it's part of God's plan and creation. So it's not about in one way a person feeling superior to another or feeling that somebody else is less than them or who knows what, but rather to really accept and to celebrate the diversity of what God has created. Had He chose, He could have made us all into one single people. We could have even all been a splitting image of each other. Imagine one, one billion me's. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> But he didn't. He chose to make the diversity that he has, and in the same way that if we were to, especially as we see spring is just around the corner, spring has sprung, and you get to see all of the beautiful flowers beginning to bud, and once they actually flourish, is there a person who says, I don't like those because those are blue, I don't like those because those are red, I don't like those because they have curved leaves, I don't like those because you know their, their shape looks like this, I don't like those because their fragrance is like that. The opposite. We can't help but still want to take in as much as we can of the beauty that's there. As humans, each one of us is beautiful, each one of us adds a value, whether we know it or not. Respect is something that is very essential. And despite whatever religious, ethnic, cultural, societal, economical differences may exist, we can make this the best of what it is, or we can make it one of the most miserable experiences. It's a choice that God has given us. Being that we are intelligent, He has separated us from the rest of the animal kingdom that's out there with our intelligence. He has placed upon us a responsibility to use our intelligence, to use our senses and faculties. And this is a wonderful thing when we have young men and women like yourselves who are the future. But understand something, you cannot be the future except that you have to be a part of the present. And so, keep treading forward with goodness. I know that it's almost time for you guys to go. If you uh, don't have any questions, I have left out.